Okay, also tonight, coronavirus cases are sending more people to the hospital right now than ever before. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, almost 146,000 patients are in the hospital right now with COVID-19. That's up nearly 40% in the last week and more than last year's peak. Now our area, no exception. We're not immune to this. Hospitalizations have hit record highs in Virginia and Maryland, and it is really taking a toll. A man was in tears during a Montgomery County Council meeting last night or earlier today, describing what happened over the weekend when his mother had a heart attack. Our Scott Broom is at the Holy Cross Germantown Hospital with that story. Holy Cross Germantown Hospital is where 79 year old Vivian Rice was brought this Saturday in the middle of a heart attack. Vivian Rice's life was on the line, according to her son, County Council member Craig Rice, who told colleagues about it today. The hospital that she was first sent to, Holy Cross in Germantown, was overwhelmed. Rice told the council he was scared by what he saw. There were so many things that they were trying to do to handle the critically ill, like my mother, in addition to those unvaccinated majority who had COVID. Rice said his mom was brought here because the closest hospital, Shady Grove, was already full. That cost five critical minutes just to start with. Rice said the doctors and nurses here saved his mom, but they clearly struggled under the load of so much else going on. Um, we're very appreciative of the doctors and nurses, but very concerned about what they told us. After the initial emergency, Rice said his mom was transferred Sunday to Washington Adventist and there was hours of waiting for an ambulance because they were all busy. Rice says patients with COVID clogged up the system every step of the way. The unvaccinated are nine times more likely to enter our hospital system. And those beds are, and those resources are precious. And those precious time and resources are ones that are then diverted from other patients who also need that attention. This is real. I've seen it. After the meeting, Rice talked with me today about the other families with COVID patients he talked to while waiting. Seeing the families that were there in the waiting room that were in prayer circles, talking about the fact that their loved ones had been, you know, trying to convince, uh, trying to convince them that they should get vaccinated. And um, those are heartbreaking stories. Mrs. Rice has survived. She's at home in good condition, but her son used his position as a council member to beg people who are unvaccinated to please reconsider. In Germantown, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.